Good afternoon, everybody. This is Christian from Northeast 360. Uh, I have a quick update on my Maxpedition uh, Versapack Jumbo. I had issues with some placement stuff in this bag um, for my go bag. Uh, basically, really, I use this as a bailout bag and hiking bag. Now, I've done several videos with Maxpedition products. Now, at this point, um, I did a review earlier of this bag. I will leave that link. Um, I would suggest watching that video stopping this video and watching that video to understand a hundred percent why i did this because this is a very short clip so my issues with this bag was between this bag and the uh fat boy version uh, max Edition fat boy i wanted this pocket and this allows me to carry my nalgene bottle my stainless steel nalgene bottle uh, having my water solution here so that I can have more room in my internal bag. Not that the Fat Boy wasn't big enough for a bailout bag. I just wanted this pocket. It would have been a perfect bag if it had this pocket. But when I purchased this bag, I lost real estate that I used a lot. And now it was the ability to have my OC spray, my pepper spray, up and quickly accessible in this bag. I had it carried in the concealed pocket, which is here. Could I get into it? Great. Um, I wear glasses now, so I don't want to lose this pocket to carry my, my eyewear in. Um, when I transition out of you know sunglass to a reading glass, in here, diving through all this extra gear in here, I, I don't want to deal with that. Maxpedition got rid of the little communication pocket that they had up here, probably because, as we all know, cell phones have gotten much larger than the old flip phone days. But what that pocket was perfect for is to have an OC or maybe throw your multi-tool or some sort in there. Um, now, I also had another pocket on the fat boy that I, I, I liked because it fit my cat tea tourniquet in a spare one, um, along with a pair of scissors. It's not perfect, but I have two pouches here that I've added to this. One is a condor. Um, I believe it is the, let me look it up on my phone. So I have the correct name for it. It is the Condor HHR pouch in Coyote Brown. It's as close to the color that I can get, but it is 100% the right size pouch for what I need it for. Um, and it's a decent placement for it. If I'm carrying this bag on my left side, I can get to this, you know, OC spray to ward off, say, you know, an animal or a larger animal while I'm out hiking and I don't want to go for a firearm or another uh, projectile system, uh, this this works. You know, spray, 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 run away, whatever. This pouch here is from NC Star. I mean, they are... NC Star is known for budget, 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 right? I mean, you'll see it, the, the sewing is not awesome, but... You know what? It's a pouch for now. I'm probably going to go further and look for something from 511 or something of that sort. But right now, I like it because it's high-vis, it's red, it says TQ, you know, it's undoubtedly, hey, my medical is in here, pop this open, I can get in here for my chest, seals, whatever I need, my boo-boo stuff in here. But also, I have a tourniquet accessible quick release. I have shears right behind it. Um, on the fat boy, this very similar, relax Lobo. It's fine. He just hears people outside. Um, on the fat boy, this was actually part of the bag, this type of pocket. I really wish this pocket was here. 
Um, it isn't, but this is my solution for right now. Um, and it works. It honestly works for what I need it for. I mean, it, it goes on my front seat. It's, it's a, sorry, phone call. Um, we don't cut things out. It's a bail-up bag. It goes on my front seat when I'm driving around. Um, it's good search and rescue. And I take it hiking. It's awesome. It's an awesome bag. But it needed improvements. So those two improvements are here. Um, another cool use for this side pocket, not just for the here. You can fit a AR mag, maybe potentially two mags if you really have an empty bag. But essentially, I can have an AR mag in here. Um, I can have several AR mags in here if I needed to, but I keep my backup pistol mags in here as well. Um, I carry pistol mags more often. It's very rare that I'm running around with a long gun in my trunk anyways, but times are changing. Okay? Having proper gear is proper gear. Okay? Um, is this the end-all solution? No, but for temporary, they both work. I mean, they... They're going to hold up for what we need it for in and out of a car. Um, if I were to survive for several weeks on this system, are they going to hold up? You know, it's not a review on the pouch, but I'm going to say no. Okay? But right now, for what I need it for, it's solving a problem. So, again, uh, this is my update on this bag. We're trying to make it better. Um, Maxpedition come back on this bag with these two products you would have one kick ass battle bag all right get home bag get out of dodge whatever you want to say whatever you want to call it hiking camera bag hiking bag getting hurt watch that other video you'll understand what i mean by all this so that's it quick update uh this is christian from northeast 360 like follow share uh Ring the bell, comment. Uh, I, I I browse the comments. I really tend not to look at them, okay? So you can say whatever you want on those comments, but it's not going to change how I feel about the situation, all right? This is me. This is mine. This is how I do it. Um, you know, cool things like radios, goes in pouches. I'm telling you guys, great bag. Keep moving forward. Christian for Northeast 360, out. Oh.